Hey friends, it is Hopsoft here again, and I was going to walk you through this new little project I stood up because I picked up a contract that's using the strappy headless CMS. Um, but there's some cool features that it has that I was a little wary to use in on a production system. And so I just wanted to try out some of the features uh, in a nice little sandbox, primarily like moving data between different instances of Strapi because it has some features like that, similar to Heroku, where you can either pull down a copy of uh, your, your production database data to your local or move it to another environment, that kind of thing. Strapi has some fundamental uh, tools in their CLI that allow you to do something similar. So uh, let me walk you through this thing. I just called the project um, Strappy Sandbox, and it's really just there. It's mostly just a Docker project that sets this up. We set it up with two environments, and there are two isolated Postgres databases that back it, because I wanted to kind of mimic uh, the production environment that I'm working in. We've got a production and a staging. They're just hosted on different ports. And so if you want to do this thing, you just clone the repo and then drop into Strappy Sandbox. Then um, this isn't totally necessary, but it's a good idea to take the uh, .env example and bring it over. Copy that. I've already got that set up on my local. And then we start the sandbox. So let me just jump over and do that. And we'll do some of these commands here. Let me make this a little bigger for y'all. So I am in here. Let me just do this. We'll pull this up so you can kind of see. And we'll just drop into the readme here. All right. And we'll make this a little bit bigger as well. And I'm just going to run Docker Compose up and we'll demonize that thing. All right, so we are up and running. And so now if I hop over here and go to localhost, and I don't even remember the port that it runs on, 1337. Uh oh, we're probably still Probably still getting set up here. So let's wait for these things to finish up as the Docker spins up. All right, there we go. We are up and running. We should be able to drop into this thing now. And this is our production server here. So let me make this a little bit bigger. I am just going to come in here and put in Nate. And we'll just say Nate at example. And here I'm just going to put password one, two, three. And we will get started. Don't need to save that. And then actually, if I copy this URL and we go over here, I'm going to change that port to 1338. And this is our staging environment. So I'll also create an account over here. Might as well keep them consistent. All right, so now I've got an account in both. And it's got some basic data that's in there, but what I really was wanting to test is the ability to bring data from one environment to another. And one of the reasons for that, let me just show you this. If we look at the instructions here, once we're up and running, we can drop into one of the environments. So let's just run this command here and get into the staging environment. So I'll leave the logs running over there. And we'll just pop into the strappy staging environment. And here we are in the staging environment. And let's just take a look at these commands. In fact, another one I want to work with here, and that is this transfer. And the name transfer on this particular CLI command was a little concerning to me because it almost implies that you're going to move data from one server to another as opposed to copying it. So let's just take a look at what this says it does. 
and it does. It still says transfer data from one source to another. That spooked me a little bit, which is why I wanted to stand this thing up and just have a look. So let me do this really fast. We'll put in some data here. So you've got a couple of different admin tools and I'm not like a big strappy expert here, but uh, this is our content manager. So let me just put in some categories. We'll create a new entry here. We'll just call this one red. Red as our category. Save that. And do I get to add another one from here? I guess not. Huh. All right. We'll create another entry here. Uh, we'll call this one green. We'll save that one. And we will go back and add blue as a category. And I'm just adding some data so that you can see the data that comes over. So we'll do that. We'll come here and I'm going to create a new entry for an author. And I'll just say Nate Hopkins. And I don't have any articles. We'll just say Nate add example. There you go. So we've got our author and I'll come in and create an article. My first post, this is the description. The slug, I guess we'll do my first post and we'll pick the author. And let's put some categories here. We'll do red and blue. Oh, I guess I, you can only give it one category. That's interesting. Well, we'll leave it as blue. We'll publish that. So now I've got a piece of published content here. And I guess these con pieces of content don't have to publish. This is all part of strappy features that I'm not super familiar with, but I just wanted to put some data there and then show over on my staging environment. If I go to my content manager and look at my articles, I have no articles. I have no authors. I have no categories. And so what I want to do is bring that data over from the production system into this system. So here we can run this transfer uh, command and we can specify a from or a two. So if you're on the one that's receiving it, you specify from. So if you're on the receiver, you specify the from flags. If you are on the, the, the well, I guess I actually haven't run it from the other side yet. So we'll actually have to see, uh, but you don't specify both arguments as kind of the point here. So if we just drop into let me go back to production here because there is an admin thing that we need to do here. And in order to transfer, we need a token. So I'm going to create a token and I'm just going to call it puller and you select what type of token it is. And this is our production one. So I only want to pull data out of production. I don't want to push data here and we have to set an expiration. I'll just give this unlimited. We'll save that and I'm going to copy that value. And then back over here on my um, .env file, I've got a couple little hints in here and we are gonna use this transfer token there. So I'm just gonna save that temporary token and I'll make sure that's still on my clipboard. Just like that, we'll come back over here to run this command and we'll go back and look at these instructions. And this is basically the command that we're going to run. So you pass it in like this. And remember on this particular shell, we are running on the staging server right now. And so we set that up and we set the from token equal. Oh, now I think I took that other thing off the clipboard. So let's just grab that token again. And we come back here, pass, paste the token, and it will prompt us now. It's going to delete all of the local Strapi assets and its database. Now, the one thing that this does not do is it does not bring over, to my knowledge, the schema. So the schemas have to match between the two systems, and there is not a CLI tool that actually facilitates synchronizing the schema between two systems, which is a little bit unfortunate, um, but... 
we'll have to see once I get uh, to using this in anger on a real production system how painful that is because our local development environments have drifted from what production actually offers. But if I just say yes here, you can see it's going to slurp all of that data down. And if we come back to our staging server now and I refresh this page, you'll see we have now picked up all that data. So if you need to play around with Strapi, um, you can use it either in uh, on either one of those environments, put data in, mess around with the CLI. Uh, and if you look at the CLI here, if we say NPM run Strapi and then ask for help, you can see all of the things that you can do with Strapi. So this gives you a nice little sandbox playground, safe place to kind of experiment and, and mess around without necessarily having to install it all yourself because this all just runs straight up out of this Docker Compose file, which is pretty simple. It just has a Postgres instance and a, or container, a strappy container, and then we've got our staging environment, which basically picks up, it's the same configuration. So we just spin up two, uh, four containers, one, two Postgres and two strappy uh, containers running it. And then now we can kind of mess around and move data back and forth between the two. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching.